Welcome to Creative Nature Adventures. My name's Danielle, and today I'll be doing a product review, and I'll also be showing you how to kind of make this toolkit if you can't get this product. But with that being said, I will sing its praises from now until probably the end of time. Um, this is called the Pocket Art Toolkit, and this is made by Expeditionary Art. The um, website is arttoolkit.com. I'll put that in the description. But this is a wonderfully made product, worth every penny. This particular one is $88. This is the pocket size. So this is five and a half, I'm sorry, five inches by seven and a half. And then the um, sketchbook in it is five and a half by three and a half. And they then make a slightly larger size that would be 10 by six and a half. And then on the inside, your sketchbook would be eight and a quarter by five and a half. So I normally, the, the smallest I like to um, draw in is this nine by seven. So because I wanted something more portable, I wanted this pocket art toolkit. And this, these are add-ons, and I'll go over those in a minute. But this is made, I believe, by the same people who make Right in the Rain. So this is a Right in the Rain cover. And I've been a field ecologist for a long time. And I've had, a, actually, I've only had one other of these because... There's no need to buy another one. These things take a beating. I've had it for over 10 years, not this particular one, but um, over 10 years. And so I thought, I'm going to make myself a cheaper version. Okay, once I saw this, I'm like, that's a great idea. I'm going to make myself a cheaper version. I ended up doing that for my kid. So I'm going to show you this first because I want you to see why this is worth every penny. And honestly, by the time you buy all the stuff, you'd be much better served um, getting this. So I made this for my daughter. Um, you can see there's three places for pens. There's a little pocket here. I put a little palette in there for her. Oops. Oh my gosh. And then her little book. So we go on our adventures and we nature journal together. She brings this. I bring this. Okay, now I actually think that this cover, while I think it's pretty close, I think this is actually more bomb proof. So, you know, I'll have it a few years and then I'll, I'll do another review and let you know. Very sturdy um, zipper. So when you open it, it comes with a couple things already. So it does come with a water brush. I put this one in there, I believe. Um, lost the cap. It comes with a Sharpie fine liner, but I promptly lost that as well. So I have um, mechanical pencils in here. One's an HB and one's a 4B. This um, translucent ruler, which I've actually used quite a bit. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, eh, that's cool, you know, but I actually do end up using it a lot. It also comes with this syringe, which if you're in the field and you're trying to fill up your water brush, you know that if you don't have a steady hand or you don't have some sort of funnel, it just kind of goes everywhere. This, and then you squish it right into the, the water brush. No muss, no mess, no fuss. It's really, really helpful. This is your moleskin. It does come with this. This is three and a half by five and a half. And as you can see, um, I have no reason now not to sketch. Like this thing can fit in a cargo pocket. I can attach it to my backpack. I can throw it in the car. Um, this was at, I've thrown it in a bike jersey. So this was actually at a little bike shop in the state park. Um, I've taken notes from classes I've taken. Uh, my daughter and I went to Jurassic Quest, so this was um, some of the Jurassic Quest stuff. Uh, this was the waiting room. So, and you can see, it does take watercolors. 
you know, light washes. I don't know that you could really get these things super wet, but um, for for sketching, this this is really awesome. And I I really don't like working small, so this was really um, a departure for me from what I normally do. And I'm actually digging it quite a bit. Now, here is my favorite part. It also comes with these two binder clips, but this makes it worth it. And you can buy these separately. This is the pocket palette. So there it is, arttoolkit.com. This pocket palette you can buy separately. Um, the one that comes with this comes with 14 pans, these half pans. And you can fill them to whatever you have. I, I have um, my Daniel Smith watercolors, and then I have some white gouache that I'm, I'm trying out for um, highlights. <clears throat> you can actually buy this, and she actually sells one that has these little half pans and basically gives you 28 options for colors. Now, I am way too sloppy for that. I would, um, I'd have, like, I mean, you can already see... I really try to keep my stuff clean, but I, I'm a slob. So this is not even the smallest one she makes. Um, I, can't, I think it's called a Demi palette, but it is. this is the size of a business card. And it's not very thick. So you could actually, I can take this out. I could slide it in my pocket if I wanted to. Um, just phenomenal little palette. I, I adore this slides right in okay and and it slides in and it's sturdy it's not going anywhere with this I could put another palette I could buy another palette and put it in here and she sells um, different types of pans so I could actually get if I wanted you know I've been using this as a mixing area but if I wanted to I could get she sells these larger pans you could make for mixing areas and then these little half pans and still have the same amount of colors it's it's really she's just really really phenomenal product and these are um, magnet magnetized I'm sorry but I'm not gonna pull this out because it'll just everything will probably go everywhere um, I'm a klutz that way the other thing that I carry in here and I'll go back to that um, I've got to that beautiful age where I can't see anything so these are just cheaters and I, I actually like these a lot because they, again, fold down. You can stick them in a pocket, throw them in the car, throw them in your backpack. So these are the things I've added. Obviously an eraser, um, a hand lens, which I think everyone should carry a hand lens. Um, especially when you're trying to look at those little tiny things. And lastly, a little pencil sharpener. For my mechanical pencil, I haven't lost this yet, knock on wood. I love this thing. I don't even know where I'd be able to find it again if I lost it. I think it came with one of those, those pencils. So when I first started using this, I had some pens in here, but I, you know, I also wanted pencils. So then I put the pencils in there, put the pens in here. But when you're opening it, you know, you have the ability to kind of lay your book across and kind of hold it so that way, you know, and you could put your palette up here and clip it with the binder clip. Um, which I don't do. I usually sit down, again, kind of klutzy, you know, so I could, um, you know, attach this to my my book and I could sit here and I could do all this well I didn't like the idea of these pens rolling around so I went to Michaels let me put this away and like I said everything just slides in so easily it keeps it real tight don't have to worry about losing anything So I went to Michael's. There are two loops on this design. So I went to Michael's. I found this little pouch. And now I can keep three microns and I have a Posca paint pen in here. 
again, you know, kind of figuring out what I like for highlights. So I can actually sit here, and if I wanted, pull that out, and then I could turn this over, grab my pen, zip it back up, and do what I needed to do. And I've got everything within reach. And then I also, um, I love carabiners. I love just hooking stuff all over the place. And I bought this carabiner that also is a bottle opener. But I can hook it to my backpack. I can hook it to my belt loop. Um, this is like no excuses anymore. No, I, I didn't bring my sketchbook or I didn't bring my pencils. This gives you absolutely no excuses. Love, love, love this. Again, this one was $88. The larger size is $98. And you're helping out an artist. You're supporting a small business. And the quality and craftsmanship of this is, it really is impressive. So if you can, I definitely say go to arttoolkit.com. Take a look. Even if you make one of your own, um, this, I believe this is about 30 bucks. And again, you know, when you're like, oh, $30, this is awfully tiny, worth every penny. Like this is just, it, I've had a lot of pocket palettes. You know, as you do this, you start to acquire different things. You try to find out what you like, what you don't like. This will probably be my go-to palette for years to come. Like once I find something and I get comfortable with it, I don't like to, to really stray. So again, arttoolkit.com. This is the pocket palette. It does come in, I think, classic black. And then um, they'll have different options. And I believe it's like the gray with this teal, sometimes red, sometimes purple. So, you know, you can kind of make it your own and you don't have to have just black. So if you have any questions, I mean, feel free to ask me down in the comment sections. Um, again, go get yourself one. Happy sketching. See you soon.